Hello everybody. So I am in New Brunswick, Canada right now, and I am at a very interesting site. You can see it behind me here. That is the world's largest covered bridge of all things. And uh, it's a very odd thing for sure. And I'm going to try something that's kind of odd that people eat in this part of the world. Uh, this is dulse. Dulse is a type of seaweed that grows around here, also in Iceland and different parts of Europe. This is eaten. Somebody just zipped through the covered bridge. Uh, very often it's used medicinally. It's supposed to be good for all sorts of things. Uh, on here it says it builds strong bones, lowers blood pressure, it's good for the eyes, good for the immune system, good for everything. It also is supposed to taste like bacon, and I'm not sure how true that is, but it said a lot online in different blogs, this thing tastes just like bacon. And uh, I'm gonna find out if that's true. Now here's the thing though, one, I'm vegetarian, don't like bacon. I do like fake bacon, so maybe that means I like bacon, probably not. Because uh, I imagine fake bacon doesn't taste a whole lot like real bacon. Number two, I don't like seaweed. So I think I'm going to hate this. It doesn't... So my review on this is not necessarily going to be uh, a good indicator on what this tastes like. If you like seaweed, if you like bacon, this might be great. But let's see what I think of it. Oh, it's like dried out. I don't think it's cooked, but I think it's like sun-dried. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this because I have a feeling I'm going to really, really not like it, but let's see. Oh, it smells like a wet dog. Oh, oh God, this is not good. I really don't like seaweed, guys. The texture is very, like, leathery. Ugh, I can't swallow that. Ugh. Very strong seaweed taste. But I can vaguely see why people say that it tastes like bacon. It has a very, like, savory, meaty kind of flavor to it. And I think why that is is that seaweed, uh, I'm not sure if this type, but seaweed is where the original uh, MSG comes from. So seaweed has a very like umame kind of, uh, kind of flavor. So this, uh, I've heard, also has, uh, if not MSG, something similar to it. So when I eat this, it tastes um, kind of like MSG. It's salty, but also like irony and very savory tasting. So, Although I don't like that seaweed taste. It's like very green and a little fishy tasting, which I hate that flavor. The savory component in there I think is really good. I'm not like one of the people that hates MSG. Like I use MSG sometimes. I'm okay with it being in food. And uh, this tastes like MSG. It has a very strong, uh, salty, savory kind of taste. So that part I actually kind of like but the seaweed taste, I do not like. So I think uh, on its own, not really like bacon. If you were to smoke this, or maybe like marinate it or something, or cook it with smoked paprika and cumin and, and spices that you might find in uh, different types of meat, it would adapt that flavor, I think, pretty well. Uh, the texture is also kind of leathery, so it's like kind of vaguely like a bacon strip. I guess, but I think it's kind of a push. I would say this is meaty in a way, not necessarily bacony. And um, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it just because of that seaweed taste. But if you like seaweed and you like uh, like savory tastes, like MSG kind of flavor, uh, I think this wouldn't be a bad thing to pick up. It would especially be useful for cooking, I think. I think if you were to take this and take a leaf of this and like mix it in with your food or put it in like a soup or something, it would add the same sort of component that MSG or uh, salt would or like nutritional yeast. It would give like a nice savory taste to it. So I wouldn't say this is necessarily a 
uh, replacement for vegans to get their, their bacon substitutes. It would be, however, maybe a good tool for vegans to make fake meat or to cook things to have like a little bit more of a, of a meaty flavor. Uh, yeah, so I think that's all I have to say about this. It is really interesting that this is popular here. Uh, the lady who sold it, she said that people come up, they buy bags, and they just like chew on the leaves, or they cook with it. And, um, yeah, it's hard for me to say that, because I don't like seaweed, but if you like seaweed, I think you would actually like this quite a lot. Uh, especially if you want something that has a bit of like a savory, uh, meaty kind of flavor as well. So I think that's all I have to say. Uh, so greetings from New Brunswick, Canada, everybody, and I will see you next time.